Hello everybody, my name is Bear Gamer and welcome to the top 8 animes to watch when you just started watching anime. I know it's kind of a weird title, but yeah, this is my opinion, like you don't have to follow my word for it, but if you're starting out, you don't know anything about anime, um, I suggest that you start with these in particular, like they're not ranked from the best to the worst. They're just ranked from what it's targeted towards, towards, I think, is the thing I'm going with. It's just a list I, I scraped together just now in a few seconds. Um, but starting off, I'm not going to chat anymore. This is ranked of my experience. This is ranked of what I found, what I found that particular anime to be good. So the first one is the most story driven, like the best story that I've ever heard is Beastars. I know some of you gave the anime a bit of grief, like if you're a veteran anime watcher or not a veteran anime and you would have watched it by now but like people who aren't interested in anime that much have given this anime this particular anime a lot of grief but in my opinion it's one of the best animes that i got to watch i mean dude it was so freaking i uh, can't even explain it but like, the thing that caught my eye is the story about being the bunny, the bunny that's being bullied, I think. That's the thing that caught my eye the most. I'm not sure why, though. But, yeah, I'm not going to spoil anything too much because this is for people that want to start getting into anime. So, and dude, dude and dudettes are really... <coughs> Corona. Uh, I really like. I'll. I motivate you to start watching anime because it's starting to become such a huge deal in society nowadays. And I really. It like it wouldn't matter anything or any way less if you didn't watch anime. But like just saying it's starting to become such a big deal <coughs> why am i coughing it's becoming such a big deal in our society but that's not the case secondly drum roll please the most saddest anime that i've ever watched i mean dude <coughs> what is with me the most saddest anime that I've ever watched. I can't even explain how sad it actually was. It's called A Silent Voice. Or A Silent Whis Whisper. If you direct translate it from Japanese. Like the first five minutes I started crying my eyes out. I don't know how to explain it but the whole movie. I thought that was just going to be the one part where I'm going to cry like a little bitch. But no. This whole anime actually came to me like a runaway bus. And I cried throughout the whole anime. I don't know why. Even the last bit when they had such a happily ever after. I mean, I cried and... I can't even explain the emotion that I had. And sorry if my camera is a little bit junky. I don't know why. My phone is just glitching out on me. I don't know why. And then you get the most comedic. And by comedic, I mean the best. Because I am, a, I won't say necessarily funny. But I like funny stuff. But with that... Is Umaruto. Oh dude. I, <laughs> I really enjoyed it. 
Ah, oh, and I'm certain that those of you like a bit of love sometimes will enjoy it 10 times more. Like, I enjoy a good love. I really do. I enjoy it a lot. I love to sit down and just start laughing at any random. But that's where they start to, to put the random into purpose. And, oh, dude, I'm not going to spoil anything for you, but it's so cute and it's just so comedic. And all, honestly, if I could say it's the best anime for me i've probably said that for all all of them so far and it's gonna keep coming but moving on the most heartwarming is kinori mosaic i i think i'm pronouncing that last bit right i hope so if i'm not just help me the out in the comments down below it's really, it's one of the most heartfelt, heartwarming animes just in the beginning. Like, the two girls trying to learn each other's language, but they just know how to say hello. And with everything, it builds upon that and grows and grows and grows. And that's, like, I really enjoyed that a lot. Like, it warmed my heart to see that I'm not the only person trying to learn a new language. But yeah, I'm not going to spoil too much because... Freak, dude. <laughs> it's really so much fun. I really did enjoy it. And... I won't ever forget the anime that I've, I've started with. Started with, sorry. A bit of a tongue twister, I guess. The best short action. Or the best action for me in particular was One Punch Man. Like I'm not taking a like a crap on Attack on Titan. No, I really did enjoy it. But One Punch Man actually took my attention by far. It grabbed me like Hulk grabbed his his teddy bear while Hulk was scared. Like that's how One Punch Man took me into the anime genre and I really I won't say he took me in I've watched anime before but like I've never watched it intently until One Punch Man I mean Saitama is so funny sometimes and he reminds me a lot of like at the end battle there's one particular line that reminded me of Markiplier I don't know why, <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> it reminded me of Markiplier a lot, but moving on, I'm rambling way too much, this is probably gonna be the longest video ever, the most random anime ever, is Aggressive Retsuko, or that's at least what they call her in Japanese English, in English straightforward agresco. I don't know why it sounds more Japanese agresco than aggressive retsuku. But yeah, that is the most random and I will probably say hilarious anime for me in particular. But like that's where hilarious and randomness intertwine. Like the way she bottles up her emotion just to get by with the day. I mean, it's a good message that we shouldn't get, shouldn't keep everything in, I guess, in a way. But it's also, it's sort of, it's implying to children that they need to scream into a mic. Like me, for instance. They're implying children to scream out their emotions, which I find is the truly helpful thing to do. Because if you had a shitty day at work, you just want to go down and, or not go down. No, please don't go down. You want to go home and just relax for the rest of the day. And yeah, probably 
sing some karaoke. If that's your thing. Because I've never sang karaoke. But I should stop talking. I should stop talking right now. And move on. The best character development for me. Now, I know this might also count under the most saddest. But it also had one of the best character developments ever. And if I say ever, I mean ever for myself. Uh, Angel Beats. It's really, it's in the beginning, you have no idea what's going on. But as the story progress, progress, progresses, you start to figure out why and what's happened and what is everybody's purpose and how can they... Uh, how can I put this so this might sound okay, I guess. Um, how they'll find their end purpose of life to move on and not stay in the same realm as what they've done in previous. I think that makes sense. I hope I hope it does. And eight, the final and the best, by far, for me, the most and the weirdest anime in all of anime's history is Pop Team Epic. Um, like. I don't know even how to describe how to describe it. I mean, it's so wacky and weird that you can't put it into words. Besides just watching it for yourself, which I highly recommend. Recommend. Like, if you're new, I should like you shouldn't dive directly into anime. You should search out what you enjoy. Like. I know if you're probably new at first, but you don't know what to watch. But then, then there is a thought of why should I watch this anime? Like, you don't knock it till you try it, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, anyone has a type of genre they like, but none of them actually uh, watch advertise their genre that they particularly like. Like Joey, the anime man. Huge fan, by the way. He... He watches all the anime. Sides, his name is the anime man. And then you get people like my cousin. He likes more funny than sad... Sad things. That's why he'll rather watch colorful, poppy things. And as for me, I watch anything I want, actually. Not saying I'm like the cool kid at school. No, I get to sleep at eight. No, nine. No, that's not what I'm saying at all. Um, what I'm saying is, like, if something looks cool to me, I'll watch it. If something doesn't look cool to me, I'll watch it anyways, just to see what it will do in the future. Like, my motto is don't knock it till you try it. But also, if you watch this far, here's something special for all you anime beginners. A place to watch anime for free. It sounds like a dream, right? My thought exactly. I mean, where? Where was the site when I grew up? And the site is called Anime Twist. Link is going to be in the description. It's, it's free. The only thing is you can donate if you want to. And like I haven't donated yet because I'm trying to save money for a better webcam than this freaking iPhone. I hate it so freaking much. But yeah, link is going to be in the description. And I highly recommend you... Comment what's your favorite anime. Like I will really. As a community. I will want to grow my anime standards. Or not my anime standards. My anime knowledge. To become. To overflow. 
Joey's throne. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'll never overthrow his throne. Because he has way more knowledge and experience when it comes to anime than I do. But anyway, guys, that was my top eight. And a special for all you beautiful people. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And as always, my beautiful people, to each and every single one of you beautiful people in the next video. Bye.